looking for new, fun, engaging, and really strong builds for your character in Baldur's Gate 3, look no further than my Jumping Rage. Today we're building Barbarian with very unique playstyle. So creating Barbarian is really simple. This build is not race specific, you can pick any race you like. And let's go to our abilities. Basically that's the only thing we need to pick. So all we want to have is Strength 17, then 14 Dexterity for Initiative and Armor class, Constitution 16 for Armor class and more health to be more like tanky, and 10 Wisdom just for saving throws. That's basically it. Barbarian created. Now let's level up. Level 2, you're just going for Barbarian, getting your Reckless Attack, Danger Sense, and that's it. For our subclass, I'm going for Berserker. This gives us a more powerful Frenzy, Frenzied Strike, and most importantly, Enraged Throw. It will do additional damage when you throw in something, so that's really cool. Then we get into Barbarian level 4 and get in our feet. So, my feet of choice will be Tavern Brawler. This will give us ability to get additional strength and do additional damage with our strength when we throw in something. Level 5, we pick in Barbarian again for extra attack and more movement speed. Level 6, we continue our Barbarian path and basically get in Rage Charge in Mindless Rage, so we can be charmed, frightened when we friends it. Very nice stuff. Level 7 will give us Feral Instinct to get more bonus to initiative. And level 8 will give us additional feet, so feet of choice will be ability improvement and just add to your strength. If you're going for this build on your main character or you're willing to use some potions and lotions on him, then you can start with uh, 8 into wisdom and 15 dexterity to get plus 1 plus 1 into each of them right now. Because this alternative leveling will give you 16 dexterity, so plus 1 armor class and more initiative, and 22 strength if you're using something like Everlasting Vigor or Auntie's Care. And now on level 9 we're stopping our Barbarian journey and we're switching to Rogue. For abilities of Rogue we're going with Athletics. To get really high plus 11 to Athletics it will improve our chances to throw people. For role-playing stuff pick Intimidation and you can get something like Stealth. Level 10, one more level in Rogue. Now we're getting Cunning Action Dash so we can use bonus action to dash right now. Most of the time we don't need it. Level 11, getting fast hands, so one more bonus action. Now we can throw people two times in a turn. And yeah, we're throwing people. And finally, level 12, we're getting one more level in rogue just to get additional feet. So you can go basic way and just get plus two into dexterity or plus two into constitution for more health. Or you can have a really fun way to play. That's what I want to pick right now. And it's most underused feat, it's mobile. Basically, our movement speed is increased by 3 meters. When we dash, difficult terrain doesn't slow us down, and we're not provoking opportunity attacks if we're attacking and then running away. So we will run a lot. That's nice feat to have. If you want to maximize potential of uh, this character, you want to have something like Transmutation Wizard in your party to get Transmuter's Stone. And Transmuter's Stone of movement speed. It will increase your speed by 3 more meters. So you can give the stone to your character and cast Long Strider on him, for example. So with our weapon we can't use sneak attack, we're not using it. And basically our options is really simplified with this build. We can use bonus action to dash, hide or disengage, mostly we will use it to dash. We can use Frenzy to increase damage of our like throwing stuff and other stuff. And we got Enraged Throw, so we can throw not only with our action, but also with bonus action. And we got two bonus actions from Rogue, we got two throws from like Barbarian, because throws is like attacks. Or you can just attack with uh, your weapon, but more on this later. So let's talk about gear. Basically this build will be focused around this hammer. So it's Hammer Haraft, and it's pretty basic hammer without any enchantment. You can find it really early in the game. But when you jump, you did an additional 1d4 damage in radius. So you see where we're going. We're not building throwing build, but we're doing jumping build. For our bow slot, again, best bow will be just one that gives you additional initiative. So something like Hell Hellrider longbow in the last act, ring and chevrolet combination. So Crusher ring gives us additional 3 meter movement speed in battle. Ring of jumping will let you cast jump on yourself once time per short rest. So, for 10 turns we can jump for very long distances. Then our necklace, Corvette Token. 
While you wear this amulet, the wearer jump and flying speed increase by 1.5 meters and they gain feather fall. So now we can jump anywhere and we won't take any damage from falling. And we get an additional distance when we jump in, so that's very nice for our jumping build. Jumping costs you actions, bonus actions. But with these gloves, fleet fingers, once per turn after you dash, you can jump without using bonus action. So it's useful in case you want to save your bonus actions to use enraged throw instead of normal throw with your actions. And you will just use normal action dash. Then our cloak. You can use any cloak, so basic cloak of protection will work just to increase your armor class. As for armor, you can go in early game with something like mighty close to increase your strength by 2 to maximum of 20 and gain bull rush action, so basically you will be able to rush through enemies. Or better choice is Graceful Claws, so you will increase your dexterity, which will give you additional jump distance by 1.5 meter, and also more armor class. So that's our armor of choice in early game. And then last pieces of gear. Bone Spike Helmet. When you rage, creatures in 3 meter radius must succeed wisdom saving throw or take psychic damage. Very nice helmet, additionally it gives you attack that can frighten your enemies. And you can do this attack every turn, so very strong attack actually. Stuff that makes this build even more deadly. Bone Spike Boots. You gain plus one to armor class with these boots, but additionally, because we're playing without armor and shield, we get brutal leap action. We increase in our jump distance by 1.5 meter again. And what is this brutal leap? Basically, when you're leaping on targets, targets will possibly knock down prone. Because our hammer is not doing really large damage and don't have nice enchantment, it's very nice to make enemies fall prone and you will have advantage on attacks against them, if you want to attack with your hammer. But it's not important, we will throw enemies most of the time. And kind of the final puzzle of the gear, in the last act you can get Bone Spike Garb. You gain temporary hit points whenever you rage, reduce all incoming damage by 2, so you will be more tanky, and when someone finally attacks you, they will be damaged with 3 damage. So that's a nice stuff to have in late game too. So that's our body, let me show you him in action. So first of all, in basic fight you will get just normal running distance of, uh, let me see it, 26 meters, like 24 meters, yeah, that's crazy, that's crazy distance, as you can see, I can travel almost through all Baldur's Gate, but jumping distance is much longer, so if I use jump, especially if I precast a jump action, of course, we can jump like for, I don't know, is it like, it's like 30 meters, 30 meter jump. And look, after this jump, on the same turn, <laughs> oh my goodness, this jump is insane. We can travel like to 19 more meters, that's crazy. Additionally, of course, we can like use dash and jump without using any bonus action and do one more jump to like 30 meters. And then we can travel like 30 more meters, I guess, even more. Oh my goodness, look, 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 look. So we can travel like 40 more meters, 40 more meters. That's crazy. So in one turn, you basically can travel something like uh, 200 meters. And uh, just in case you can run away from fight, just in case you need to run away from fight, you can do it. But that's not, of course, most fun <laughs> part of the build. Running is not fun. Fun is to jump and be like really crazy or jump in rage. Bro, so all you need to do is to turn on shockwave first. So whenever you jump, you deal an additional force like thunder damage. And brutal leap is always active. It's always active. So brutal leap is always active. And basically, you jump in on like people. Look at this. So we jump in, and they are like most of the time prone. They really like damaged and stuff. And then you try to throw these people. And when you throw these people, you do additional damage because you're a tavern brawler, like barbarian. So after these throws, uh, they will be damaged and targets will be damaged too, on which you like throw them. And then you just jump on the roof, wait for guards to come, I guess. And don't forget, you're not taking any like full damage, so you can do something like this jump from the roof, a really high distance, a lot of damage. <laughs> That's really crazy stuff. So this guy is definitely angry and look how your fight can look 
like basically you want to rage of course but don't rush your rage don't rush your rage first turn you can do something like dash action on yourself to get bonus action jump on these targets and just jump and inflict this crazy thunder damage around them <laughs> damage them possibly they will be fall prone but to do it, you need to use Brutal Leap. So when you're nearby of your targets, use Frenzy with this armor. Basically, we're doing additional damage when we're frenzying. That's crazy too. And of course, it depends on like your battlefield, but you have really high movement speed, so you can go on like high ground by yourself. Just uh, run with high movement speed. So it's like pretty easy, and this target's already dead. She tried to attack me. And then just use Brutal Leap on these targets again. So you just jump in one more time. That's really crazy. They fall in prone. They taking damage. And then you're making your rage. Everyone who is prone, you can just throw them with really high chance. Throw them at other people. And this increases damage even more. So you're doing really crazy damage with strong people. You can use Enrage Throw for this with bonus action. It's really high chance to do this action. And you can disengage and start next turn with something like Brutal Leap again. Just jump on people and <laughs> damage them. And then just throw them around everywhere you want. That's really crazy. So we're trying to throw this woman on the high floor. Then we jump in here to inflict more damage. Oh my goodness, I don't even see what's happening. And then we throw her back to the bottom floor again. So she's down again. And now we can jump one more time on her. So she's like dead again. And then we can throw her again to the like balcony. No, I can't throw her on the balcony. But it's really fun st style, really fun like, stuff you can do in the battle. Additionally, menacing attack is really useful with fights. So you can do it every turn. Yeah, you don't have really high hit chance on targets that are not prone, but still, if you hit this attack and target will be feared, feared of you, then he will stay in one place and it's easy to disengage. And basically, like, craziest part about this build is that you can definitely, like, travel for really high distances. You can just uh, run away from the fight each time. And that's why it's a really fun play style. So, idea is that enemies can't even hit you. You just go in, you jump on people, you throw these people at other people, basically something like that. They fall in prone, you can use your brutal leap just to do a little bit more damage again. And then you just disengage from this part of the fight, you just run away. So running away is not a problem, you just hide and enemies won't be able to like get with you. So we're, they will be just dashing, trying to catch up, they will try to jump like this guy. And that's really fun part. So they trying to catch you, you just throw them away, something like that. Then you just jump on them, throw them one more time if needed, and basically dash, disengage and run away again. So you can have a lot of fun with this build and do really weird stuff, like throw weird stuff. I don't know. In my opinion, it's a really fun play style, really engaging with the nice cool and items. What do you think about this build? And if you like it, definitely check out other cool and fun builds on the screen right now or other builds on my channel and see you in the next videos.